I get huge FPS drops when I move my mouse in certain games. As the title says, I am getting huge FPS drop in some games. Currently, I'm having issues in Apex Legends, Marauders, Seven Days to Die. What's happening is, when I'm not moving my mouse, that the FPS is super consistent 280,300 in Apex Legends, 150,160 in Marauders, 140,150 in 7 DTD. But when I move my mouse, it goes crazy. In Apex, it goes almost below 40, in Marauders below 60, and in 7 DTD below 20 even though I'm just wondering in Forest when. It's Horde, it can go below 10. Weird thing is, if I hold LMB or RMB, the game does not stutter. So it's not completely unplayable, it just forces me to adds or shoot the weapons so fighting is not so much a problem for me, only looting is. By the way, using the controller doesn't seems to trigger the issue. I can play the games fine with it, so I think PC specs are irrelevant. Of course I researched what could be the reason, and I found a fellow friend that's experiencing the same thing at least in Apex. Apex stutter lags when I move my mouse Reddit post. I am having almost the exact same issue as the on mentioned in this post, and their people suggest lowering the mouse's polling rate to 500 or 250. I was on 1000 so I tried it. That seemed to fix the issue, but it was only temporal the issue rose again after around 30 minutes. I'm still searching for a fix, but every post that's having the same issue seems to be fixed by dropping their polling rate. Good for them, but it's not working for me. I suspected that the culprit was Google Play Games, since the problem just happened right after I'd installed it. So I uninstalled it, and disabled Hyper-V because Google Play Games needed it, but the issue still consists. I thought there might be some leftover files, so I've gone and completely wiped. Formatted my C drive and reinstalled Windows. It seems to have fixed the issue. Oh wait, no. It hasn't the problem rose again in one hour. At this point I'm completely lost. I seem to be stuck here, since even wiping the drive is not fixing the issue. My PC's specs are Windows 11 Professional Intel Core i7 12700 kilofarads is not overclocked. NVIDIA RTX 3070 more specifically, MSI's Gaming X Trio. Using the newest driver as of today, so 531. 79. 32 gigabytes of DDR5 5200, made by Crucial. 3M2 drive 1 500 gigabytes drive for OS and some applications like browser, Steam, etc. Crucial P2, 2 2 terabytes drive for data and games both Solidime P41+. Plus. Gears. SteelSeries Apex Pro Tikal 2023 SteelSeries Apex Pro to test if Tikal 2023 is causing the issue. No changes. SteelSeries Apex M750 same as above. No changes. SteelSeries Prime. SteelSeries Sensei 10 to test if Prime is causing the issue. No changes. SteelSeries Sensei 310 same as above. No changes. And some other keyboards and mices that I don't know the name and manufacturer. No changes. Xbox One's controller usually not plugged in, just checked if the problem would occur with it. Asus PG259QN 360Hz monitor. BenQ. Zowie XL2430T 144Hz monitor. To test if PG259QN is causing the issue. No changes. I don't use any software while playing games besides Discord to talk with my friends and Nvidia's share to record the game and see FPS, and sometimes a web browser Vivaldi. Yes, 
I have tried it without them running except Nvidia's share, as I needed to check the raw FPS value, but it didn't change the situation. Everything on my computer is up to date including my motherboard's MSI MPGZ 694 Wi-Fi BIOS. Any suggestions and answers are welcome of course, that is as long as it's not set your polling rate to 500 or below, reinstall your OS or game or anything, or update upgrade your PC. If you need more info, I'll provide it. To answer Vilks S question changing settings such as full screen windowed and such would fix or do anything to the problem? Sadly, no. I've tried exclusive full screen and borderless windowed in every game, but no changes. I've also changed graphics settings, texture, shadow, effect detail, v-sync, etc etc, but no avail. Changing settings from NVIDIA's control panel also wouldn't do anything. Capping frame rate to 300, 240, 144, 120, or even 60, didn't fix the problem. Question from user Sky at it gaming at Stack Exchange. Answer. So, I have done testing with my old 1080 as suggested by Timmy Jim. Sadly and shockingly, it didn't change the situation. However, other suggestion made by Vilks to turn off the NVIDIA's share have fixed the problem. That have led my problem to solution. I've sought what was causing the issue. Apparently, NVIDIA shares temporary files location was the cause of the issue. Changing the location to other drive than percent local app data percent temp have fixed the problem. I don't know why it caused the issue, but at least my drive was not broken, since Smart says it's at 98% health. No further investigation is planned, since problem itself is no more. Answer from user Sky at at gaming at Stack Exchange.